Nearly a two hour delay in the first quarter due to poor weather. Chicago Bears and the Baltimore Ravens. So the players head to the locker rooms and plan in place to evacuate fans from Soldier Field if tough. necessary. Finally, they came back out. The Windy City. Festival. Josh McCown and Joe Flacco. Ray Rice, touchdown. His fourth touchdown of the season. Ravens on top seven. Don't to remind me about that. I got him as a fantasy back. Here comes the Windy City weather. Ravens added a field goal to make it 10 to nothing, but fans were instructed to take shelter. Monte Leach, John in Harbaugh, back can't believe yeah. how much wind there is out there. The that's, field crew worked hard to dry the field. That wind will cut right through you. Yes, it will. Played there many a time. I did too. That wind is after a one-hour, brutal, 53-minute delay. Play would resume. Devin Hester getting the crowd pumped up. Second quarter, 10 nothing. Bears trailing third down and goal. Josh McCown looking for Alshon Jeffrey. Incomplete. Uh -oh. Pass interference called on Jimmy Smith. Tough call right there. Tough call right there. Give him a fresh set of downs. And McCown to Brandon Marshall. That one incomplete. Batted down by Jimmy Smith. Came Bears back and made a play. Bears settled for a 20-yard Robbie Gold field goal. Brandon Marshall. Mm. What a man he is. A little emotional there on the sideline. He is. Joe Flacco. Look at this. We got a play Guess by David Bass. Guess we learned that from. Pep, the guy on the other side. The guy on the other side. That's right. Who has done that many a time. Too many times. That's how the Bears tie the game at 10. Mm, nice play. That is. And a guy that's on the other side, by the way, had a couple of sacks on the day, too. Julius Pep said two sacks today. He's starting to come around. Game tied at 10 now after that nearly two-hour weather delay. Next Ravens drive. Flacco, Torrey Smith, touchdown Ravens. Ravens up 17 to 10. The Bears would add a late field goal to make the halftime score 17 to 13 Baltimore. Into the fourth quarter. We pick it up. Chicago with the ball trailing still 17 to 13. Josh McCown wants his back out of the backfield. Matt Forte on a screen. Got him. Yeah, he's tough to tackle regardless of how slippery he is because of the weather. He is really an unheralded player. He is. Man. Great player. Very extremely versatile. With that, the Bears on top 20 to 17. Two possessions later, 441 left, still 2017. Flacco, Torrey Smith tackled short of a first down there on third down and 10, but Zach Bowman called for a horse collar horse tackle. Going on. That's right. No, it's a tough call, but that's yeah, exactly call. what it is. It's a horse. But the guy's trying to stiff arm you. That's Understood. the only thing you can grab. Understood. This is fourth down and four, and that's Flacco. Look at the catch by Dallas Clark. Mm -hmm. 14 yards down to the Bears, 30. Fourth down conversion there, needing four. They get the 14 to keep that drive alive. Six plays later, 11 seconds left. Low snap, Flacco gets it. Where's Torrey Smith? Ooh, back of the end zone, missed him. Ravens settle for a 21-yard Justin Tucker field goal. Game tied at 20. Not overtime. We're and not going overtime. overtime. It's a long yes. game. Oh my the fans got their money's worth. They sure did. A six-hour game. <laughs> Double hitter almost. Third down and five at the Bears 46. Flacco looking for Tandon Doss. No. Can't come down with it, so the Ravens forced to punt. Nice defense by Jennings. Joe looking for a flag there? Yeah. Or just a catch? <laughs> flag. Third down and nine. Josh McCown looking for Alshon Jeffrey. Got him. Uh, this kid, he is real. I mean, they have two legitimate and, wide receivers. And like throwing Martellus Bennett. Yes. The tight end position. He plays like a receiver at times. Now it's first and ten. Plenty of time for McCown. Right There's here. Martellus right there. Bennett for 43. Right on cue. That's down to the Baltimore 22. Three plays later. Third down and seven. No need to wait any longer. This is Robbie Gold from 38 yards out. Mm. Mm. Hour and 53 weather delay and an overtime period later. That's how the Chicago Bears move to six and four. They are tied with the Lions atop the NFC North. The Packers lose at the New York Giants. So it is Chicago and Detroit tied for the lead in the NFC North.